In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to show you how to precisely synchronize object motion by using keyframes. Now the objects you work with may be graphic images, may be title text, could be a mixture of the two. But the key here is to harmonize them. How do you get the objects to move the same distance at the same speed? It's not as easy as it sounds. Please look at the following example where we've taken two different titles, moved them either on or off the screen together at precisely the same distance at the same speed. What we've done so far is we've taken the, the same video clip and applied it in track one and track two. On track one, we applied an autumn kind of LUT. If I move the playhead, you'll see the difference of brownish colors. And then we've taken track number two and we've used a greenish kind of LUT. And so we have that track number two mask. So the mask moves from the left side of the screen to the right side of the screen. And so we go from a brownish look to a greenish look. And what we want to do is we want to match the title with the movement of the keyframing of the mask. So what I need to do first of all is find out what my values are as I keyframed my mask. I'm going to click on track number two, click on the tools button above the timeline and choose my mask designer because I need to record some things. If I look at my playhead and drag it across, you see it moves from orange to green and at this keyframe here on position, it starts moving, and then at the second one, the last one, it finishes its motion. So I need the two values of these keyframes. So I'll take the little blue triangle and click on it. I find the first one is 1 second and 13 frames. So I write that down. Then I'll click on the blue triangle, move to the last keyframe, and I find that that is 8 seconds and 1 frame. So I need to match that motion with my titles. So I'm going to cancel out of that. I've got the data that I need. Now I'll go to my title track. I have had it hidden. I'll unhide it. And we have our two titles. I can press the F2 key or double click and get into my title designer. And here I have my from fall and my to spring. First thing I want to do is take that first keyframe position and set a time on that. So I'm going to click on my time code and all I need to do is type in 1 and then in the frames I type in 13, press enter and now I'm going to set a position keyframe for my from fall. I want to start from fall out in the center of the screen. Now you notice I have my object settings open on the left and if I kind of drag this to the center I can center it using the mouse and it's approximately 0.5, 0.5. I can also center it by right-clicking and choose Align to Horizontal Center, right-clicking and do Align to Vertical Center. And again, I get a slightly different number, but they're all approximately 0 0.5, 0 0.5 off a few hundredths. So I'm just going to type in on my position value, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, just to make it simple for me to do my math here. And so now I have the from fall positioned at the center of the screen. Now what I want to do is I want to make sure that when I get to the second keyframe point, it's exactly one half screen to the right. How do I determine how far to go? Here's what I discovered. When I click on this, uh, let's set the second keyframe first of all. I'm going to set the second keyframe at 8 and 1. Press Enter. I'm going to set a position value. Okay, now if I take this and I drag it, just physically drag it to about the edge of the screen, so the center of the text at the very edge, notice what the values are. The 0.5 changed approximately to 1. So it's half of a value. I go from 0.5 to 1, I'm all the way to the right. I go to 0.5 to 0, and I'm all the way to the left. Now to get over an imaginary another half screen, all I have to do is add a half to that. So I'm going to do 1.5, and I'll zero out that, and I want to make sure it's 0.5 here. 
and now this should be exactly one half of a screen to the right. So I've gone precisely the distance I need to go by doing a little bit of math. 0 0.5 plus 0.5 plus 0.5 is 1.5. So that's how this will move precisely from the beginning, centered all the way to the right. Let's move back to the first keyframe. I'm going to drag down to the two spring part. I'll set that same position keyframe. I'm working on the two spring. Now I want to start this off exactly one half screen to the left. So how do I figure that out? Well, if it was in the center, it'd be 0.5. It was on the left edge. Let me drag it there just for fun. It was around zero, so I need to go a minus five. I type the minus key and I type in a 5.5. .5. Make sure this is centered to zero vertically. Okay, and now I'm exactly one half screen over on the left to start with. I'm going to go to my second keyframe. Now I've dragged down into this particular title, set the position value. And now I want to start out where I was before. I'll take the minus off. So it's 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Click up here in the previous screen. And now that one moves from off the screen to the center of the screen. And notice they're perfectly aligned. We've just done a little bit of pixel math here to make that happen. You could do this again with a text and a graphic object, with multiple objects, but it's the way in which we can precisely synchronize movement of objects by using keyframes in our projects in CyberLink PowerDirector.